without further ado, uh, let's talk about home builder confidence. Uh, it improves. Oh, good. All right. Next story. No, okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, real quick. So buyer demand for newly built homes continues to surge, and that is keeping builder confidence high, even as material prices climb. Builder sentiment rose one point, which is not a huge rise, but in you know, in spite of land not being available, uh, materials and labor all being more expensive, it's still rising. So it rose one point to 84 in February, according to the latest National Association of Home Builders Housing Market Index. Uh, and remember, anything above 50 is considered positive sentiment. Uh, the index stood at 74 a year ago. So that's, we're in a good spot. Now, if they could just catch up because we're about 4 million homes short. Um, this is a quote from uh, the NAHB chairman, uh, Chuck Folk. And I never know if we're saying his name right. It's F-O-W-K-E, Folk, Falk. I don't know, but let's say Folk. Uh, lumber prices have been steadily rising this year and it hit a record high in mid-February, adding thousands of dollars to the cost, which we covered last week, I believe, Ray. Um adding thousands of dollars to the cost of a new home and causing some home, home, builder, home builders to abruptly halt projects at a time when inventories are already at all-time lows. Uh, he goes on to say that builders remain very focused on regulatory and other policy issues that could price out households seeking new homes in a tight market this year. Uh, then the article goes on to say, uh, while prices are a concern in both the new and existing home markets, there appears to be very little pullback in buyer demand. Of the index's three components, current sales conditions held steady at 90. Uh, traffic of prospective buyers rose four points to 72. So people are becoming becoming more comfortable with the Rona and, and getting out there. So to see that one go up, because it's been low for a little while, to see it go up is pretty cool. Um, and then sales expectations in the next six months, however, fell three points to 80. So, and we do have, I do have a friend that works in... Uh, you know, all phases pretty much, but from the very beginning phases of uh, finding the land and new construction, we're going to have him on the show. And then he has some connections to some CEOs of some very big uh, builders. So we're trying to get them on to get the, the hot take on this, to get the current take on this. Cause it's interesting to me that these uh, home builder sentiments still going up, even though lumber prices are, I don't know when are they going to stop rising? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, initially, but didn't they say it was the uh, supplies from China that were delayed due to the Rona, and that was what was causing the increase? And now I guess those yeah. supplies are... Yeah, but then there was more coming in from Canada, but then that got right. too expensive because of tariffs and all that stuff. And Well, one of the things I know for sure is that uh, when, when a builder is building a spec home, they already have everything ordered as soon as they break ground. So I've been told that on several occasions that our builders here locally, in order to get it done, are just ordering everything they can right up front. Yeah. And so that's what we want to get that. Uh, we'll get uh, my buddy on here and he'll he'll be able to break it down. Um, but it's interesting that more people are opening up to seeing them. And, you know, and I also want I always want to hear like takes from everyone else around the country, because here I don't help people a lot of new construction uh, because of, you know, special assessment taxes and HOAs. I don't think that's the case everywhere. I, so it's it's, you know, but it is imperative that these lower uh, the lower third of the market gets uh, help because we're struggling. Yeah, 